Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey, 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 it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we've got another LEGO Harry Potter years 5 through 7 video for you. This one happens to be level 23, Snape's Tears Free Play. I know we should all be sad because this is kind of a tragic moment or a big moment in the movie slash book series. However, uh, this is plenty of room for excitement as we are in the home stretch. This is the second to last level of free play. Well, there are some rumors of a bonus level, which, uh, spoiler alert, there, there is a bonus level. So we'll have to uh, check that out, of course, as well. But we also want to take note, too, that, uh, well, we've uh, got a couple of collectibles to grab right here on this level and round things out, get a couple of gold bricks. We're going to choose our strong character of choice, which was really just a cheap and easy uh, alternative to grab in the early days. And we just kind of kept him uh, rolling. So uh, Remus transforms into the werewolf. And that's going to come in handy here in a little bit. But you can see there's some chains being blocked up above. And we're actually going to take on some of the story elements right quick. And then we're going to get a couple of the collectibles back to back because they kind of happen fast, and there's a couple that are stretched out across the map here. So start off by using Leviosa, well, Aquamente, and then Leviosa to put out the fire. And then that's going to give us the Weasley box, so pick a favorite Weasley and hop on with the old sticky shoes, and we'll go ahead and walk up the wall. Now, make note of that red and black box on the far right side. We're going to come back to that in a minute. We're also going to go ahead and make note of the thumbs up that this guy gives us right here. Ready? Booyakasha! Ooh, that's right, a three-fingered thumbs up that looks awfully familiar. And he's going to round out this wheel, which actually raises the roof of it. And uh, look at this. We're going to actually see this big old guy come through. And, oh, whoopsie. Watch out for that next step. It's a doozy. But hey, before falling off, before taking that next step and dropping down below, switch to a character with dark magic and go ahead and manipulate this chain one more time. It's going to drop it back down and it's also going to slam down a red house crest piece or the Gryffindor house crest piece. That's right. Now, you could also manipulate that black and red box while you're up there. But we're going to come back to that because there is a character token right down below the staircase here or behind the climbable wall that also requires some dark magic. So look at that. Fenrir, gray back. He's found in the rear. Fen found rear? I don't know. I was trying to make that work, but I guess I can't. But we're going to need some sticky shoes again to get back up top because we wanted to get the first of three items needed. This is actually uh, a box that we shake up. And let's see here. We're going to get to it in a second. We're getting attacked by Death Eaters. I got to say, they're quite annoying how they just never stop coming in. And I guess that's kind of how the movie is. But we're going to just pop the lock on that. And that gives us the first of three. The next one's actually going to be down and around the corner. And woohoo! We got the true wizard, which is easy peasy with our red brick stud multipliers on. We don't even have them all yet. We still got, what, three more to get? So you can see there is the second of three dark magic boxes that need to be cracked open. And we're just kind of fighting for our life right now. But we're going to get up in close and personal here and rip that bad boy open. Now, the third one is actually beyond the troll. And the quick link stamp for it is actually a little bit closer. So if you're in a hurry to get the next one, you can kind of skip some of this by using the old third quick link for the green house crest piece down below. Otherwise, you got to make this little catapult and fight off some spiders and get your timing right with some pumpkin chunking as there's a Death Eater that pops up and puts a force field up, and you definitely don't want to hit that because it's just kind of a waste of a catapult uh, wind down in a pumpkin, for that matter. I mean, come on, we got to be thinking of pumpkins, too. Really, it's just a matter of timing is all it is. And I get a little crazy with my Reducto here in a minute, and I actually launched one. I think it's the next round here. I prematurely launched my pumpkin, so that's, you know, that's never a good thing. And, oh, he's destroyed our catapult, but that's not going to stop us. We're going to use Leviosa to go ahead and rebuild that right quick. And look at that. Booyaka show. We're going to go ahead and wind it down one last time. Actually, it's two more times because, like I said, I get a little excited right here, and I zap it, and look at that. I take out the Death Eater's shield, which doesn't do me any good at all. So we'll wind it down one last time. This time I'm for reals. And there we go. Pumpkin lined up, and get that target. Boom, boom. That's right. Knock him off the back. And we're going to go ahead and use the pieces that come up from his uh, turbulent fall there. And we're going to put those up on the wall where they are indicated. And right about now, hey, welcome, Quick Link people. That should be pretty close anyways. And we're going to make our way down and around through this hallway here. We're also going to take note on the corner here of this little safe in the corner. We're going to come right back to that. But we wanted to get this in order. We didn't want to confuse you. We hate getting things out of order. And we try our best to make sure that we get all three of the items needed for an item. 
That's right. All items needed for an item in one swoop. I know that didn't kind of make sense. It kind of made sense, but it didn't kind of make sense. So, All right, we have snuck by the big troll here, and we're going to use dark magic on the final boss. Go ahead and rip it open. Now, I'm going to go ahead and also make note, too, that once we get rid of the big troll, uh, we kind of got out of order here. Uh, we should have gone and saved the student in peril right after unlocking this safe, um, but we, we didn't. So uh, we get it in time. Don't worry. Nothing's out of order or anything. We put a little note on screen, but uh, make sure you use your favorite key character to get that safe before advancing on. Now, I do make a note that there is a little bit of time between that collectible and the next. Look at that. Twins, Bezel. We got two. Grindelwald's out. But really, we need a character that can use the invisibility cloak to get by. Uh, or you could go ahead and dip over to the right side right now, as that's where the student in peril is. But we're going to actually go ahead and finish this up. And I didn't do this on purpose. Like, if I would have thought about it, or actually known right where that guy was, I, I didn't really follow the notes that well. It said, come to a T-shaped intersection, which, now that I'm sitting here looking at it, it's totally a T-shaped intersection. But that can mean a lot of things in this game. And uh, I would have called it like a dead end or something. So anyhow, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and use Defendo on the right wall here. And we're going to make some tunes, which definitely capture his attention. He dances <laughs> a little river dance there. We need to sneak over to the left-hand side with a Weasley character to go ahead and open the Weasley box. And then we're going to go ahead and open up a box of sand. I think that's what it's called. Anyhow. It's going to make him go bye-bye, and it actually almost tosses me in through the door. Watch watch what happens here. Uh, the, just my character gets kind of sucked in, and uh, yeah, there's the tip. Before leaving, save the student in peril, so make sure you do not go through that doorway yet. See, it almost tossed me through it without uh, even having any control over it, but you want to come back here and just simply zap the two Death Eaters that are got this guy cornered over here, and da -da -da -da, we'll go ahead and turn that frown upside down, and look at all them studs. Now, on the next level, boy, I tell you what. So many blue and purple studs come out of the character. I don't even know what to say. It's pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome actually. And we end up with over a million and a half studs on the next level. So uh, here we go. We uh, have a little bit of story elements to do here. We got to use Loomis to get rid of this devil snares or tentacly like thing, and we got to raise the roof with that big old uh, anchor. Next, we got to go over and use Leviosa to build up the rest of the crank wheel up above because we're actually going to do. Uh, well, we're not, I wouldn't call it fishing, but we got to raise this black and red fish up. And then we actually have to manipulate that fish with dark magic once we get them up there. So uh, we have to do this part just to simply get through. But next, use a character with dark magic to go ahead and shake off his tail and then shake off his midsection, which, oh, right. Look at that. We got Professor Snape character token, which uh, he's one of my favorites, I got to be honest. And, uh, R.I.P. to the the character or the person who actually played him. Yeah, he's uh, no longer with us, unfortunately. Alan Rickman actually uh, played a couple of really awesome roles in some of my favorite movies. Um, you know, I mean, let's say Die Hard. Uh, you know, he's just he was good in Dogma too. I mean, there's a lot of movies that uh, he certainly caught my attention and was amazing in so uh r.i.p to alan rickman and oh to the uh, all right moving along here we had to crash a little ship there and unfortunately it left us with pieces but fortunately we rebuilt those pieces into this crazy makeshift fan and look oh there's a bluesy floating up there make sure you grab that next up we're gonna head over to the back left corner which is kind of a funny angle as there's some objects in the way but i promise you there's this weird skeleton like object that needs repairs so switch to arthur Re weasley and get your blue wrench out and look at that he's gonna I, I don't even know what this is it's like a half robot half coffin part skeleton boat thingy i don't know what's going down oh i guess it's going down and it's gonna go ahead and give us the blue house crest piece which is pretty generous of it even though i have no idea what's going on this is like a boat with legs i guess really I'm making a big deal out of nothing and there's snape but we gotta hit the him with focus and then we gotta get uh, a little barrel to capture his tears but we still have the hufflepuff or yellow house crest piece that we gotta round up first so in the back right corner there is a strong handle which is almost impossible to see unless you really crank your brightness up so luckily we know where it is and we show you you can go ahead and rip it open and grab that collectible and that'll actually be the last one for this level so we got four house crests left only two character tokens as the next level has uh, uh well we got bellatrix lestrange in the story mode so uh although there is a third character token in that we only get two of them in our free play because we were forced to get one of the character tokens what can we say we couldn't do anything about it 
but there's still plenty of character tokens to round up around Hogwarts and surrounding areas, so we'll get to those in our free roam, which won't be too much longer. We only got a couple, what, this level, one more, and then with the bonus level, of course, too, so... Uh, we'll have to plan our attack as there are a couple of red bricks we want to get sooner than later, but we want to make sure that uh, the way that we capture and get all of the collectibles is in a nice methodical way, kind of, uh, usually we try to go clockwise, but we'll see how it works out. Now, if you didn't pay attention, if you were just listening to me drone away, we used the Deluminator Lamp just to the left of Snape and brought it just to the right of him over on kind of a pillar towards the screen, and that actually gave us a couple of pieces needed that we carried and slapped on the top of this weird pump machine, and the pump machine came to life after a little bit of Leviosa, and now all of a sudden we got this barrel, but uh, whatever do we do with it? Well, we need to zap him with focus. I already mentioned that, so I guess we already knew the answer to that question. And no, unfortunately, Ron does not possess focus, so we're going to have to switch to Harry or Grindelwald, or I'm sure you've got quite a few characters that have it. Uh, you might even be playing as Snape, but as the game sometimes gives you characters we have not yet unlocked. But anyhow, we got all four house crest pieces, which means we only have one last house crest to get. And Booyaka Shao, three character tokens, rounded up, Death Eater, pretty sweet, as well as Snape. I'm pretty stoked to have Snape in the arsenal. And yeah, we got that true wizard rather early. In fact, it was in the first section we grabbed it thanks to our red brick stud multipliers. And oh, look at that. We've already got over 11 and a half. Oh, we're not going to get 12 million though. But in the next level, we get quite a few because of that. Mainly because of that student in peril. I'm telling you what. Speaking of which, turn that frown upside down one more time. That's right. I guess there's a few scattered throughout Hogwarts as well. So we'll be, we'll be turning some frowns upside down beyond the free play. And all right, so we got quite a few gold bricks, 109 to be exact, and uh-oh, that means this video is officially over. That's, that's what the screen always means. And uh, hey, hopefully you guys have been finding this video, uh, well, maybe maybe slightly entertaining. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully you haven't already taken off. And if you have, sh shame on you. Shame on you for not catching the hint. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, more power to you. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, any suggestions on how we could speed things up or be better with our videos, let us know as we are always interested in your feedback. And yeah, I've got one more free play video to do, and I won't lie, I am extremely excited about it. This, this series has been dragging on for quite a long time for various reasons, but uh, we're almost to the end. We've only got a handful of videos left, including the free roam and some trophy achievement cleanup videos, and I'm excited. It's, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or not. I, maybe not, but you, I am. I promise you. And so, yes, we've got one more free play video we're going to hopefully drop for you uh, in the next few minutes. And uh, as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time, which hopefully won't be long. <laughs>